You are about to embark on an exploratory embolism, a trip through time, space, and gender. Transsexual troublemakers from Transmotivia are traveling through space, being pugnacious, pushy, and prissy along the way, pissing off nearly everyone they meet. All is going well for this brood of beautiful bitches until they reach the third planet from the star called the Sun. In spite of their sinister, sophisticated, and sapphoric ways, they will learn that the hormonally driven dwellers of the water-covered planet are more of a match than they had imagined. So, sit back, engage, and enjoy their exploits. But don't let your guard drop too low, otherwise you may just find yourself wrapped up in something you might not expect. The attitude and the clothing of the other gender. <coughs> Excuse me. Tinia, can you change our course a little bit? I, I mean, without ruining the view? I'm getting awfully dizzy. Certainly, Vixenia. Ah, that's better. Tornetti One, have you found a planet suitable for domination in this space sector? There are only four inhabited planets in the solar system. The third planet from the star called the Sun, known as Earth, is inhabited by very primitive beings and has a climate very much like our own planet. They still use physical copulation as a means of reproduction. The other three planets do not suit our needs. Okay, keep searching. If you don't find a more suitable planet, we'll proceed to Earth. I'm at your command, Vixenia. Clumsedia, see if Earth is in sight yet. Okay, why not? Clumsedia, trust me on this one. Look through the larger scope. That's much better. Thanks! Bitch. Oh, there's Earth. What a strange looking planet. The union bushes are huge, but they're totally devoid of vegetation. Oh, and they have forts too. Forts? Shazba! Shazba? Shazba! 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 It's what my friend Ork from Mork used to say. It's Earth language for, oh shit. The Earth dwellers appear weak enough to be easily defeated. Their ancient ritual of courtship and mating is slightly reminiscent of how our elders used to reproduce. Hartini, have you found any planets suitable in the solar system? Earth appears to be the only planet suitable for our needs. The beings there are gender-driven and therefore have extremely exploitable morals. The males of the species are, of course, superficial and weak. And the females are quite a bit stronger than the males realize and are therefore promising to be formidable opponents. I suggest that we proceed with caution, Commander. So be it. We should complete our intelligence gathering mission in two planetary rotations. Jornetti one exactly where are we? Oh, I know. Let's check our super accurate astro viewer. 
Drone 81 Exactly, where are we? Here's our current position, Commander. Oh, Drone 81, this is the 1950s. Can't we get more accurate than this? I feel like we're stuck in a shopping mall or something. How's that, Commander? Oh, yeah, that's a big help. I see that Earth has vast quantities of liquid H2O, unlike our planet. H2O? What's that? Water! Water! Clumsedia, why don't you begin replicating some Earth artifacts so we can understand the species better? Commander, sensors indicate that celery raiders are coming towards us at flashlight speed. Shall I take evasive action? On screen. Nah, they just want to sell us their stale cookies. Let's fax them a copy of our credit report. That ought to scare them away. The celery raiders are changing course, Commander. It looks like they're stopping at a local convenience satellite for milk. Steady she goes, Navigator. Continue on course. Aye, aye, Commander. Dronetia 2, would you mind checking the charge on the dilithium tubes, please? Certainly, Vixenia. Kills you. What do you think it does? Okay. <laughs> Shazbot. I wish I could get these dilithium. Navigational tubes to work properly. Fixenia is not gonna like this. What's that horrible noise? Did somebody smuggle a Snorlax on board? It's called whistling. Earth dwellers do it when they're happy. Well, knock it off. And don't ever say that word again. Whistling? No, happy. Did you replicate some Earth artifacts, Clumsedia? I did. At first, I thought this was a nutritional wafer. I feel like it's horrible heartburn, and now I just think it's a recreational device. What else did you find? I found this primitive defense weapon. I think it's a small club, but it doesn't look very effective. And it really hurts my hand. Clumsedia, try it this way. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Dangerous. Find anything else, Clumsedia? I found this photograph of an Earth leader. His name is J. Edgar Hoover, and he was a cross-dresser. Cross-dresser? Hmm, how unattractive. He looks like an older Harvey Milk. Who's Harvey Milk? How do you know so much about Earth? Forget it. All personnel, prepare for invasion. Clones Eddie, keep busy. Sweep the area. Clones Eddie, you are always underfoot. I'll tell you what, why don't you go sweep the space deck? As you wish, bitch. I mean, can you... Careful. I can give you KP duty. Ah, 
Plumsidia, your helmet, remember? <gasps> That's right. That's much better. Sonia, why did you accept her assignment to this mission? She's a real pain in the command. Yeah, I felt sorry for her. You see, she was an orphan. She was found under a yan yan bush on L5. You know, come to think of it, I never checked her papers. I hope she's legal. Besides, we get a tax break for hiring her. You got that? What? Knockers! So we have to let her back in, Commander. Okay, now, Dornetia, show some tolerance. Let's just leave her out here for a few minutes while we get a couple of things done. Hello, can I come in now? It's getting kind of cold out here. Drop my broom. Can I come in now? Stupid Snorlax! He's so much fun to torture! <laughs> Put your on! Leave those poor creatures alone! Robot 4, come take these things to safety! Ow! I'm always getting interrupted. Mm, my turn. <laughs> Balls of pleasure. Bring me pleasure. Mm, bring it. Bring pleasure. Bring. Bring. Bling. Pleasurable, shiny, expensive, desirable. Bling! I just invented a new word. Oh. <laughs> Your thrallers will be no match against our advanced weaponry. Our ray guns go to 11. Artena, can you back up a little bit? I'd love to watch the Plessian migration. They're such beautiful creatures. Mm, at your request, Commander. Oh, I love the us. Oh, I love the We're in trouble now. What the hell are you guys doing? I saw you reverse rockets. There's no backing up in space! Oh, I'm so sorry. We were just backing up so that we could watch the Plessian migration. And, and we're stopping by L5 later to have the space buffet. Later to have the space, the space? Have the space buffet. I'm sorry. I ordered my navigator Hartini to back up before I bothered to check our rearview mirror. Dronetia One, would you go out and see if our handsome stranger ship has any damage? You know, they serve Tranya at the buffet on L5. What do you say you buy me a drink? Good news, Commander. The handsome stranger ship is barely scratched. All we did was break a tail light. Don't worry, we're insured. We have Gecko. We're very progressive thinkers. I log the damages, Vixenia. We will have to effect repairs before the next state inspection, however. Again, I'm so sorry, sir. What's your name? Longstar. 
The name's Longstar. I'm from Earth. Earth? You heard of us? Well, listen, ladies. I gotta get back to the buffet before they run out of the Reblick muscle. Mmm-mmm. Love that buffet. Best in space. There's another buffet. L4, I think it's called. Out on the blue sector past the Kexon energy field. Why they put a buffet way out there, I have no idea. But anyway, listen. Try to take it easy navigating, will ya? And remember, no backing up in space. Ooh, he was hot. Premium specimen. Mm-hmm. My favorite part of the whole visit was watching him walk away. I'm still hungry. That short one was kind of cute. No! No! Not the light of truth! I, I can't tell a lie in front of the light of truth! Oh! No! No! Oh, all right, all right, all right. I, I'm a smuggler. I smuggled them. I did it. I did it. Ah! I, I'm a smuggler. No! No! Those damn Snorlax are too cute for their own good. And I hate tribunals. Besides, Cruelia will enjoy this much more than I would. Let the tribunal begin. Where's Vixenia? I'm not quite sure. She did mention something about Cruelia enjoying this a bit more than she would. Last time I saw her, she was heading to the shuttle, mumbling something about... Shoe shopping, my favorite. Hmm. Ring the ceremonial bell. I said bell. It is what it is. It is what it is. I like that. You should write that down. Now then, but you're on. You have been accused of treason and of smuggling Snorlax on board in direct violation of IPPP Law Z 155R. How do you plead? I plead. Insanity. I'm just crazy about torturing those nasty little things. <laughs> you have been found guilty. We sentence you to perform abdominal exercises. No. no please. Please. Anything but that. I'll, I'll rearrange your shoe closets. I'll... I'll... Give you all pedicures. I'll even vacuum space. Anything but that. Please, please. Well. No. Sorry. <laughs> the claws oh. of containment. Oh. We'll all have to use special precautions. One whiff of his pheromonal extrusions, we'll all be under his control. Careful. I'm gonna get you guys for this. You. Drone idiot too, please, just get rid of it. Ah. No! I overdid it this time. Moon boots. Oops, just lost one. <laughs> Seriously, does Vixinia even have a clue? 
as to how we're gonna conquer these Earth Dwellers? I've been thinking a lot about that too. I've been observing the Earth Dwellers through the viewing scope. Have you? It seems they're so hung up on gender roles. Are you serious? Hung up? They can't express their physical, psychological, or even their emotional nature. <laughs> so I did some research on these Earth Dwellers, and there's this one in particular, Christine Jorgensen. She was the first one to have the sex change operation. And these Earth Dwellers, oh my God, they blew a gasket over this whole issue. But between you and me, they can't see anything outside of the normal status quo. Terunetia 4, please sign fuel log. Hi, Caledonia. We were just discussing on taking over the Earth. Wondered if you had any ideas. But of course, I have created a synthetic hormone. I've been working on this formula with Vixenia. And we think that if we lace the Earthlings' undergarments, that we can control them. <sighs> How delicious. When the hormones touch their skin, they will immediately be transformed into transsexuals. Earth dwellers are such easy prey. Tough. Math is tough. It's a C. It's an, it's accomplished. I think now. so. I feel like no, we've been working on this for so long, and that. I just what are you wearing? What is that? What do you mean? I found in my what? sock drawer. You did not you find put that, that in there. Didn't I you? most certainly did not. So if I wanted to see that, I would look oh. at a dirty magazine. What is wrong with you? Now I know why women wear this. That is not why we wear it. It is so not why hot. we wear. It is not hot. It is the opposite of hot. Mm. Now you need to put these on. I never noticed how sexy men's underwear can be. Yeah? Put it on. Put it on. Really? Yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, it's really soft. Mmm. -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, that's turning <laughs> out. Yeah, come here, you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
wonder if I can get the matching panties. One day at Galaxy High, high we played the game of our life. Yeah. We tried to juggle sometimes in our minds. everybody guys listen up I hope you've been reading your invasion manual we've come all the way from home Transmotivia halfway across the galaxy this is the planet we've decided to invade it's called Earth now Earth has a lunar orb they call the moon it's dark it's great, we won't be detected there. We will use the moon as our base camp. You all got that? 